Hey folks, this is IO here. I'm back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is World of Tanks winner. He is in his Object 277. This is a beautiful tank, and it's a tier 10 Russian heavy tank. Uh, this is a tier 10 game on Empire Quarter. And yeah, so it's an assault battle. That means the enemy has to come to us. It also means it's a, at most a 10 minute game. That's uh, that's gonna come in play later on. So, you can see him immediately switching over to the gold. And I assume that's because he's on his journey to three marks of excellence. And he is at least uh, to the first mark. So, maybe this is his second mark game. We'll have to see. Um, but either way, he's on his journey. That's why he's firing so much gold. I mean, scouts are already here. Not that we didn't expect them. But uh, they are pushing a little deep. Well, I guess they killed our bat yet, and we actually don't have a shot on them as much as we wish we did. Uh, and yes, this is a fixed camera. This is what he's looking at. There we go. That was looking at something real. Uh, that will do it. Let's see a blast the top of that 2.9, and definitely makes it regret life a little bit. Unfortunately, he's still getting pelted by a bat chat. Though, unfortunately for the bat chat, he, none of this is going to happen. Um, really doesn't need gold for any of this all so far everything he shot at uh, sand or ammo would have been perfectly use useful um, so I mean take this battle with a grain of salt um, see. oh he's realized that there's a massive rush tank down here and he thinks there's probably enough friendlies to defend over here and so he's gonna swing around and head down. I don't think he's gonna head all the way down. He's probably gonna stop at this uh, post right here, yes. And now he's gonna wait and let them start to push around the corner. That object 4-3 was dead. Why he uh, he went all the way down there by himself, I don't know. But I assume he was trying to get himself killed. Um, right, that would be the, the logical assumption. Why else would you be there? Um, especially by yourself. Our T49 is going to go down there and do some scouting. Nope, never mind. We have found the enemy and we have bounced off them. Um, heat rounds don't tend to bounce, so you must have hit something exceptionally round. And uh, it didn't normalize and just went flying off. Nowhere is land. Uh, nothing else that we can see behind the WZ yet, so we are. Well, there's not much left to shoot at. But the WZ isn't going to expose itself. Well, I guess we just wait on him. The 263 seems to be firing where he thinks people are, but obviously he doesn't know anything because, well, he hasn't killed anything yet. And nothing's getting wet. Um, apparently they're losing the battle for the middle of the map. I don't know how. But, but there. And now we have an LTTB and a bat chat behind us. The WZ is now starting to push forward. Oh, and it kills the RT-28. That's great. How exactly it managed that, I don't really know. Why exactly there's a full health bat chat roaming around our base? I don't know that either. LTTB hasn't spotted us. He doesn't know we're here, though he knows the T-49 is there now. And the bat chat is about to spot us, and he's about to realize he's in deep trouble. Unfortunately for him, he was paying attention to the T-49, and hoping the T-49 was going to walk out into death. And that's not what happened. And now the bat chat's in a really bad spot. And he's going to take that shot here, and then he might be able to get out of there. T-49 actually puts a shell through us. Unfortunately, he gets tracked as he tries to leave, and that will cost him his tank. Where did that shell go? I can't see where he put that show in. It's a good shot though. T49 actually doing damage to a 277 is rare. Unless we're talking heat HE fire. And even then, it's not that much damage. But that was not HE, that was standard ammo. Um not even gold. Well I'm shot. Deserves the props. Um 
looks like we're getting killed everywhere. <laughs> we are badly losing this. Uh, it looks like Winner wants to head down to help that IS-3, but there isn't really anywhere he can help the IS-3 from, whereas he definitely needs to guard the base. This bat chat has repeatedly shown that it wants to be here. It wants to occupy our base, and it wants to, to help, you know, well, his team win, obviously. The bat chat seems to have hang, hung around a little longer than Winner is comfortable with, and actually longer than the bat chat should be comfortable with. Ooh, unfortunately they've done a bait and switch on us, and look, this is not going to help any. <laughs> the Batcha is trying to use the VK for cover, except what he doesn't really understand is the VK isn't really doing anything namely, and the Batcha is definitely the threat, so Winner just ignores the, um, the VK, steps around the side, and puts one into the Batcha. Unfortunately, he did get tracked. He must have got tracked by the VK and then immediately tracked by the GWP. Or he got hit by both artillery? No? Yeah, he got hit by both artillery. So that's what happened. The T92 tracked him, he repaired it, and then immediately got retracked by the, the, the GW. So he had to sit there for a little bit. But thankfully, the VK decided not to take advantage of that problem on our part, and so now. It's only a 7 versus 11. It's not the end of the world. We still have teammates, we still have the object. Actually, three of them are objects. Now that I look at our team, um, I was about to say we still have the object 261 because he's going to be a great. Wait, is that still the same WZ on the same health as it was way back when? Apparently it is. And apparently it's still destroying our team. Well, he's not anymore. Nice three crossing in the open. For some reason, nobody else bothered to shoot at him. They're all still staring at this WZ. And I did that miss. Must have dropped a little and hit a rock or something. Okay, well, I mean, if, if he's gonna do it again, we're gonna shoot him again, right? Okay, so now there's only two, two, well, two of us versus a lot of them. This is going to go badly, um, especially if that 263 doesn't stop peeking out and getting shot for no good reason. Um, we know there's a T10 behind us. Actually, he's probably sneaking up on the 263. That's what I'd be doing if I was in the T10, sneaking up on the 263 and trying to get to die but we haven't actually seen that t10 in a while so we really don't know what he might be doing oh wz has apparently decided he needs to come out and there's the gwp but we killed the wz that we've been trying to kill forever in this game don't forget about the t10 because he is going to be on your flank in a second there We're pushing up to make give himself cover from the artillery. There is six enemies left in this fight. Seven, just before he killed that WZ. He was seven versus one. Now he knows two of them are around here. T-30 fired and missed. It shot the rock for some reason. So T-30's dead. IS-3 bounced off us, gotta go forward. WZ behind us. His repair kit is down. Shot in the back. There is the T10. I don't know what it was doing, but tracks it back up, swings all the way around, and <laughs> kills the 120 with a ram, and then swings the gun back around to face the T10. T10 is in a horrible spot. He is one versus one against an object 277, who's vastly superior in a lot of ways. The fact is, we can put rounds straight through this guy, whereas he has to pick and choose his weak spots. Not only that, he's got 22 seconds to kill us, because after those 22 seconds, this is an assault game. We win. Tracks back up. Finally, he's got his, um, <laughs> uh, what's it called? Consumables back up. And still, because of the location he's in, our tour out of this fight. 
Unfortunately, not quite able to kill his enemy. Doesn't need to, though. This game is a victory, and it was an absolute monster of a carry. Well done, sir. This was a great game. Standing alone, one versus seven. That's half the enemy team was still alive when his last ally died. Wow. <laughs> That's only a first class. Holy smokes. Hand of God, Bruiser, Duas, Fire Effect, Shellproof, 17 Bonds, the Cole Banoffs Medal, Steel Wall, High Caliber, and Top Gun. But all of this is only a first class. That's that's how many people play this thing. That's how amazing this tank is. That is about so first class is what eighty percent of the people. You're better than like eighty percent of the people that play this tank. <laughs> wow. As twelve hundred experience. That is enough to ace most other vehicles in this game. That is not enough to ace <laughs> The Object 277, or a Batchet, or any other really amazing high-tier vehicles. But, most vehicles in the game, 90% of them, 1,200 experience, will ace it. <laughs> Not this thing, though. He actually almost made money. Um, if he hadn't got shot so much, if he had fired some um, standard ammo at the start of that game, he would have made money off this game. This was an outrageous, amazing game, and well worth it. Thank you so much for saying this, Sim. This was a joy to watch. Uh, I can't wait to hear for your next game. In the meantime, <laughs> have fun, and uh, I'll see you all next time this IOE throughout.